Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sarajo of Movie Musings, and today I'll be reviewing Jeff Who Lives at Home, which was released, um, ugh, I suck with dates. I never know what date it is. It was released March, what's the date? The 15th, I think, something like that. Whatever, man, it's just a date. Um, anyway, uh, the name of the movie is called Jeff Who Lives at Home, and it's starring Jason Segel, Susan Sarandon, Ed Helms, Judy Greer, and Ray Don Ray Don Don Chong. Uh, so the plot of the movie is actually is a really interesting film. Uh, the plot is um, Jeff. He's a thirty year old boy, pretty much, um, because he has like this childlike innocence. He's uh, thirty years old. He still lives at home in his mom's basement, and he looks to the universe to kind of like find out his path in life. Ever since he saw, when he was young, he said he saw this movie, uh, the movie Signs by, you know, the one that was starring Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson, I think it was um, an M. Night Shyamalan film, I believe. And, like, he believed, that movie influenced him so much that he believed that everything that happened in life was for a reason. And if we paid attention, if we just paid attention to the signs, it would lead, lead us to the path that we were supposed to be um, on. So, in the film, in the beginning of the film, he gets, he's staying at home, he's smoking pot, of course, and he gets this weird phone call from a guy that's like, Kevin, Kevin, that you, Kevin? He's like, mother, you know, cursing up a storm, and then he's like, um, there's no Kevin that lives here. He's like, listen to me, K-E-V-I-N, Kevin. Uh, he's like just ranting, it was like a really weird call. So, he took it upon, uh, J J uh Jason Siegel's character, Jeff, took it upon himself to, um, kind of like, let Kevin lead his path for that day. Uh, so it, pretty much it was like an adventurous day. And the whole purpose, the whole goal was to find out what Kevin, what was the significance of Kevin? Like, well, why did that call? You know, again, he believes everything happens for a reason. So he doesn't believe that call was accidental. He believes that call was supposed to happen. Um, and he has an older brother, uh, which is played by Ed Helms. And the older brother is kind of like, you know, he's married. He doesn't live at home. He's supposed to be more mature, and um, uh, Jeff's character, Jason Siegel's character, Jeff, uh, Jason Siegel's character, he's not really understood by either his mother or his older brother. Their father died when they were young. Um, his father died when he was young, so he he's not really understood by his mother or his older brother um, because he's kind of like you know he's, he he has that childlike innocence. So and he still he believes wholeheartedly in in the signs and looking for the signs, and. Um, I'm just going to say that the name Kevin did lead him to some amazing, amazing event, uh, amazing event at the end of the day, which was kind of like a really good ending. Um, and he, as a character, was kind of like fulfilled by the fact that, you know, it was, it came true. Like, you know, his belief was that the signs are everywhere and everything happens for a reason. And that phone call that he got from the stranger about Kevin was clearly supposed to happen because he actually does meet a Kevin and something significant happens between he, himself, Kevin, his brother, you know, it kind of like brings the whole family together. So overall, I would give the movie an A-. minus. Um, it was kind of like one of those uh, uh, cute, like cute, um, uh, real-to-life films. It's very relatable. I, well, in my opinion, it's very relatable. Uh, I could see myself totally following some some kind of um, idea like that. Um, not particularly like that. Not like Kevin, like, you know, I get a phone call and think that it's some kind of significant story. But I do believe that everything happens for a reason and nothing is just, nothing occurs by chance. Um, yeah, so overall we give the movie an A-. minus, And um, yeah, it was a fun movie and it had, a, it had quite a couple of laughs in it. I actually like Jason Segel's character because... Um, uh, there hasn't been a movie he was in. He, you know, he played in where I didn't enjoy it. Um, he's pretty funny, amusing. So uh, yeah, you can go check it out. And thanks for watching us here at Movie Musings. And take care. Bye bye.